Morning weather. All right, and welcome to Monday, folks. It's back to work, and you might run into a couple of traffic problems. I want to remind you of the sinkhole on 4th Avenue in Huntington, kind of in front of the Harley Davidson shop, is still a problem. So be Over by the Bird Bridge, which yeah. is a pain exactly for getting off right. of the bridge there. And the Chesapeake Bypass has also been affected by that boulder, still in the way. So uh, be careful as you head out this morning. Make sure you don't get snagged in traffic problems. But it is a really pleasant morning out I was there. staring down at that, trying to figure out what that was, that sinkhole <laughs> problem. Yeah, we definitely uh, are looking at a very nice start other than that. We've got some patchy fog in the region, but that's about it. It's more comfortable. Humidity levels are down and definitely feeling a whole lot different than what we had on Friday and Saturday Indeed. of the weekend. That's Those sinkhole issues are all because we keep getting these severe bouts of rain. That's right. And yesterday, yesterday afternoon, especially a few of our, few of our counties saw that as well. And I'll show you that here in a moment. But for now, it is nice and dry and it's going to be a beautiful day, which is what we need. Let's take a look at that first forecast. We are going to see some patchy fog this morning, but then it'll be a very lovely afternoon in the mid 80s with a possible slight chance for an isolated storm in our southern counties only. So coal fields. 74 currently in Pikeville, 70 in Portsmouth and Point Pleasant, 65 in Parker Look at that. It's quite lovely up in our northern county. 68 in Richwood and 72 in Charleston. Our 3D Doppler here at 611 is nice and dry, at least right now, for the morning, which is good. Our rain vision from yesterday showing that three counties were definitely hit the hardest. And uh, definitely a Boone and Lincoln County were the worst. Anywhere from a Hamlin through Madison saw anywhere from about an inch to two inches of rainfall in a very quick period of time. And then portions of northern Wayne County. And uh, we saw a little bit of also in portions of Putnam County and eastern Kanawha County, also a little bit just north of Olive Hill and Carter County. But the, these three counties definitely saw it the worst with Boone and Lincoln County, of course, picking up on the bulk of it. So it definitely wasn't as widespread as the storms last week, but still, a lot of folks still dealt with some flash flooding concerns yesterday, and I'm very happy that it is a quiet morning this morning. Satellite radar is showing that uh, we're just seeing a few fair weather clouds, otherwise uh, mainly dry conditions throughout the day today. It's actually going to be quite comfortable much different from the last few days. That cold front pushed through yesterday and then stalled out down to our south. And we can see that here across Virginia and portions of the Tennessee Valley. And that's where the best chance of storms will stay today. But it's close enough to our coal fields that it potentially could, with the slightest chance, fire up a thunderstorm as we uh, head on throughout the afternoon hours. But high pressure is dominating. So high pressures to our west and allowing for that nice northerly flow to sink right on into our region. So because of that, we'll be cooler less humid, more comfortable, and feeling a little bit better as we uh, enter into our last week of July. So low 70s temperature-wise, dew points are in the upper 60s and low 70s. So 67 in Huntington, 70 in Charleston. Big difference from 75, which is where we were at this weekend. You'll feel it. It feels much better. Southern Ohio forecast at highs today, 83 in MacArthur to 84 in Ironton and Gallup Police with uh, lots of sunshine. In eastern Kentucky, we're looking at that threat in the coal fields for an isolated storm to pop up. Otherwise, pretty much mid-80s across the board. In the coal fields, we could see some uh, isolated storms as well from 85 in Wayne and Madison to 86 in Williamson. And central West Virginia, we're looking at uh, low 80s up uh, north in Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Grantsville, right around 80 in Summersville, so a little cooler in our mountain counties, and then right at 85 in the Huntington and Charleston metro. So other than that isolated storm chance, it's going to be the best day of the week by far. Enjoy. 68 tonight, some patchy fog, a very beautiful night to head out and about. And partly sunny skies for our Tuesday with the upper 80s as we continue then to see heat and humidity on the increase. And we'll be looking at uh, anywhere from upper 80s to low 90s all the way through the end of the week with a risk for storms as a cold front slowly progresses through the region Tuesday through Thursday. But uh, it does look, at least for now, like uh, we'll dry up after that. But uh, we definitely need today to take a breather day before some more potential severe weather moves into the region. Hopefully it won't be as bad as what we have seen. I hope not. Marina, thank you.